Well, I'm just slowly edging off the time for this road trip. It started off at eight hours, and now I'm pretty sure I only got like two and a half, or like one and a half, I'm not even sure. But yeah, I'm extremely tired, and I'm like desperately waiting for the next gas station to just pop up out of the blue, so I can get some coconut water, and so I can just re-energize, and stretch and just take a walk around the vehicle or something because 20 minutes ago I was getting too comfortable behind the wheel I was listening to like some binaural beats like some meditational ass music yeah my eyes just closed for a split second and I just went with it I was like all right well I'm tired so let's go to bed next thing you know like a split second later I'm on the other side of the road like nearing towards the ditch to a pretty big drop off and I'm like all right we gotta stop at a gas station and stop skipping them like this is no joke like a lot of the times when I'm feeling like this I'll try to like power through it just blast the music crank the windows down but after realizing that you don't even have a choice like if you're tired your eyes are just gonna close randomly and it's like okay well that's scary but luckily I had an emergency response kit kicking around inside of my vehicle and one of the consoles. This is like six months old. I do not drink Red Bulls because they're extremely bad for you. They're disgusting. And I already have pre-workout each and every single day, so adding this to the mix is not helpful at all. But luckily it was there. So I cracked this bad sucker open, just started gulping down. Now my eyes are just bug-eyed on the road, but yeah, I definitely need to find a gas station. All right, boys. Well, I'm at the gym right now, and I know these scenes are just completely random. Like, I'll be doing one thing, and then I'll just teleport across the world and do something else. And then randomly, I'm just at the gym. And then randomly, I'm just, like, 12 hours away. And then randomly, I'm doing something else. And then randomly, I'm just at the grocery store. And then randomly, I'm just driving. Like, it's a lot of random clips that are just combined. And that's what the vlogs are, at least for now. That's just because, like, I'm also filming reels off my phone for Instagram. So I'm shooting so much content off my phone. So I'll, you know, dedicate a lot of time to make some dope-ass reels. Then when I got something I want to vlog about, then I'll start talking but yeah I definitely need to get like a g7x or just a separate camera I do have one but it's way too big just so I could shoot my YouTube videos and my phone could just be for real you know so I can multitask so I can have a YouTube video going while I'm you know using my phone and it's accessible for reals I'm more efficient but yeah I just got back from Walmart because all of my gear my gym gear it was absolutely soaked because the dryer back at my place it took like three spins and it was still pretty soaked so I brought it to my sister's place to a dryer that actually works and in the meantime I have absolutely nothing so yeah I just went to Walmart and it was hard to find anything that was like gym related since it's winter time they have like no shorts and their options and their selections were just not that great at all i got some baggy sweats that i'm gonna be sweating my ass off in i really wish they had shorts but they're not in because of the season it's winter time right now so all they had was these thick baggy ass sweats which is just gonna be so brutal because i'm just gonna be sweating so much because my workouts are so vicious and i break my limits each and every single time and the last thing i want is some heavy duty sweats yeah i got some reebok socks as well and i got some underwear because the ones i'm wearing are just a size too small and they're like rubbing up on my cheeks a little too much information but there you go and yeah this one i'm not proud about this is gonna be the first time in my life where i rocked one of these in public a wife beater are you kidding me they had no other muscle shirts besides this. They didn't even have any other colors. Like this is the last thing I wanna wear in the gym. And the fit just doesn't match at all. You have baggy sweats and a tight ass tank top on the top. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make do. Like that's all I have. Some days you gotta make sacrifices just to make things work. So that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, I have no bag for any of this. So I have to change in the car because I'm not gonna walk into the gym with a box of underwear, you know, two socks. So I'm gonna try to change my underwear in this vehicle. You know, prayers to God that nobody happens to walk by or stumble by in this busy parking lot with my light on and a nice over top view let's hope not right but uh, yeah it has to be done because i'm not working out in these underwear because i already know it's gonna be hell on earth but yeah like roughly around like 20 minutes ago i was just in a like a little bit of a slump just because i got into a vehicle accident but basically what happened is the tires on my vehicle are like bare bald they're summer tires and i had no time to change them out due to work and just my busy schedule so i left them on and i was doing like 30 to 40k approaching this yield sign pretty far back and i seen this vehicle moseying on down across the road and so as you should i stepped on my brakes slowed down and i just continued to slide through the intersection and i clipped the back of this dude's car which is so unfortunate it's just something you don't want to have happen and i was on my way to meet up with my family so we could go have some lunch then that happened and the front end of my car is just absolutely torn to shreds but i just got a whole bunch of zip ties and just zip the front end all together and now it looks like i wasn't even in the accident but it was just such a like a shitty situation like everything was going good and then out of the blue that happens and it's not like i was distracted driving i know i do a lot of stories on my phone while i'm driving but i wasn't doing that i was literally just driving at like a snail's pace, hit my brakes, 
And I just started sliding forward in like slow motion and clipped this dude. And I was just trying to avoid the whole process of getting the cops involved just because it's such a nightmare. And I was just gonna send the guy like two grand or like a thousand bucks or whatever. But his girlfriend was so adamant about it. She did it like right off the jump. So I'm like, okay, well this is gonna suck. But everything went smooth. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But that's life, you got the yin and the yang. Usually when life's going good and you have good things happening, you know, you're bound to get something bad that just knocks you off path. But I'm at the age where I'm 23 and I, you know, I gotta bounce back super fast. I can't stay in those depressive pits at all because I'm just wasting time and I'm not building my future and I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So it's just a waste of time. So I gotta get back up as fast as possible. So I was just sitting in my bed, listening to some like motivational documentary. And then I passed out for a bit and I started feeling like a loser. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna run out and get a jog in. And I just like jogging because it like opens up that creative mind and I can get my ideas flowing and going. And I feel like when my body's in motion, that's when I feel the best. When I'm disciplined, when I'm focused, and when I'm grinding, that's when I feel the best. Because I only have four days off, so I have to utilize all this time and not waste a single split second. Because it's extremely rare that I get any time off. And when I do, I gotta hit the ground running with the content, not slack off. Or else I'm just screwing myself over and I'm gonna be stuck at that job for the rest of my life. So if I slack off, then there you go. It's hurting no one besides myself. So I gotta make sure that I get back up better than ever each and every single time. No, it was when I started, you know, I'm on engineering. Oh. And I was doing that for a bit, and then I went to GPS surveying, and then I was doing that for a bit, and now I'm on utility, and, you know. Let's see. Dude, this camera is so shit, like. <laughs> you gotta do it one more time. It's always, like, blurred out from my pocket. Okay, you gotta do it one more time, yeah. You're gonna have content. We're gonna fucking share this place in the Christmas window. That's, yeah, cool. <laughs> you, can, you can look at the deeper meaning of Christmas, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna share the deeper meaning. Isn't that like yeah. Jesus' birthday when he was born? That's when they celebrate it. They don't really actually know the exact date, but I think whatever. whatever. So what do you guys think about Jesus? Don't what do you think? Oh, you're right. I actually thought of it. I don't know. You don't really know the guy. You don't? I can introduce you. <laughs> <laughs> you should become a JW for mm. Yeah, absolutely. Mine and sure, he's friends with them. What's a JW? No. No. no witness. No witness. Um, when they yeah. come to the door and I say, Laddie, your friends are here. Stuff you want to ask people when you interview them? You should go down to uh, Baby Street. Where's that? Or fuck that. Man, just get a needle to the night. Have you watched Stop? I, I used to go down to East Station because some of the best um, places are still on that street. Like the butchers, the old, rest, the butchers, the old restaurants. They yeah, actually, but just like they getting. They don't out of business, but they just deal with all of it. So, like, it's so much. Deal. I don't want to deal with that though, just getting I out of your vehicle. I used to go to the best butcher place, and it was on um, Uba Eater. I guess. So. Yeah. Interview all those people and like ask them like deep questions. They probably have some good answers. They probably, they probably would. There's a YouTube channel called Softweight Underbelly, and he interviews like in some of the sketchiest places in the states. Skid Row. Skid Yeah. Mm. You watch them? No. Yeah. Some of the shit's so weird. Like I remember driving past there and there's like people like twitching on the street and I'm, like, such a like dark vibe. Yeah, so I asked you about like how do they get there? Is it like genetic predisposition? Like are they just destined for that life? Well, what it is is like failing to overcome adversity so you're just living it. So like you had a struggle or something in your life but you didn't overcome it so you're just living it. You know what I mean? You don't have the mental capacity to do that. Yeah. You're surrounded your whole life with people who don't have that inkling or that ability. Drive. That drive. And no, 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 no. What do you do with people like that in society? Like, I think back in the day, they just sent them to war, maybe. Got rid of them that way. <laughs> or to prison, and then they just die in prison. Or they just abandon them when they were kids and let them die that way. We're so merciful now, eh? <laughs> we let people live their entire lives struggling. Who's that, the government or themselves? or yeah, Everyone. Know? I don't know what you can do. You can do a lot. Well, you do a lot, but then they'll just go back to that place, probably. Because we're like creatures of habit, so like... I think it requires people with the know-how to 
build relationships with the people who don't have the know-how. I think it's like the whole discipleship aspect. I mean, you see that with like spiritual leaders. They have like the answers to the way of life and they find people who are searching for that and they lead them and show them and guide them in that way of life that have like that seemingly have the answers to how to live life well. I don't got the answer sway. Hmm? You know that interview? It's like, I don't got the answer sway, like Kanye West. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so you got hit and run? Yeah, so shitty. At Walmart? Yeah, right. You got your Pretty much, well, they just like backed into it with a big truck or something. Just like torn the whole front end off. Oh, that sucks. Mm hmm. You want to know the truth? I didn't tell mom, but I slipped through a yield sign and smoked some bad. You hit something? I hit some bad, yeah. Did you give him your information? Yeah. But he's good, though. We didn't call the cops or anything. <laughs> I just don't want to tell him. Like, I, <laughs> I just was not going to tell mom that because she would flip. So. Did you have to pay him some money or anything? Oh, uh, yeah. I said I'd send him some money. He said it was all good. Because it's mostly just all damaged to mine. But I was going like 30 to 40. Like, I wasn't even going fast. And I like tapped it. Like, Pretty much just hit the brakes and I just slid all the way through. I was not speeding at all. <laughs> Real sad crash. <laughs> What's up? But I also have summer tires that are like bald. Why do you have summer tires on? You and you made that. Mm-hmm. You're not as ill. You could pull over and be see that you don't have three in jail because of that. You have to have winter tires to drive. It's not winter tires. You just have to put them on. Pretty much, I just have one of them on. I have three more to go. Well, it's just like you have to dedicate a whole day just to do that. So oh, okay. I'm putting it on. Like you're if you're fast. If you're fast. In front of your cabin. Mm-hmm. How's it being a foreman? How do you enjoy that? I enjoy it. I'm a half football leader. Same. It's like I've been working here for 16 years. Yeah. Bunch of insecure guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, you know, take that, take that and run with it. Choose it as feel, yeah. You should see that like in the guys department. Like it is so competitive. Especially me, like I don't give a fuck. I just don't like bowing down or like being controlled. So I just go in there storm and just take over everything. Everyone just hates me. It's good. It's good to a degree. You gotta be able to know what you're saying is right and mm-hmm. what you're doing is correct. Yeah. In order to, or you just look like a coon. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're confident and you know what you're doing is right and correct, go for it. Mm-hmm. I, every crew I went on to, I would take it over and I'd be like, hey. Yeah, just listen? so you're not like the bottom of the barrel scum. Like I, just... I, I just not in me to do it. To just sit there and listen to someone tell me what to do when I obviously know how to do it better. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, I'm like, no, no. Like, hey, some people just take advantage of that. They just want to tell people to do stuff just to yeah, do you stuff. Yeah, so. exactly, you gotta know what you're talking about, or people are gonna catch on. Yeah, that mm-hmm. boy's so far in the college, he's playing Christmas cousins. Oh, yeah, everyone in environmental is like slightly <laughs> gay. He's right on. Yeah. Like, they're all like fanboys, like <laughs> tall pitch voices. And... Tony, totally, yeah. Aaron, have you been um, breaking any hearts lately? Have I? Yeah, let's talk love life. Um, mm-hmm. I have a lot of eyes on me, like when it comes to female attention, but I just don't. It's just oh, a no. distraction. Like it actually is, <laughs> personally. I know she's been so bullshit. No, I think that's your socket sets in. No brushes. From now on, when you travel, you have to be a little more um, sensitive to mom's worries. Yeah, right. Well, just just well, pass yourself, because for one, you're you're driving. Three out of four summer tires, you said? Mm-hmm. So you got one good picture tire out? Oh, yeah, so it always catches. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it always saves me. But if anything happened to you, we would have known that you left. Yeah, or so that I just thought, oh, gone and just stayed in hope. Then it would have been just that, right? You would have been dead in the dishes. And we wouldn't and that's even, what it would have been, We wouldn't yeah. have even known where to look to begin searching for you. That's the thing. You should put an airtight one here. Yeah. It's <laughs> only, like, not even that far, like 20K, 10K. Well, the thing is, is that because you don't, because you don't, Loner, we don't check in. We don't check in. We don't know where you are. We didn't even know when you left home. 
We didn't know anything like that. What's the point? I'm busy, man. I don't got time now. No. Send the whole point is, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta calm mommy's nerves. The point is, if something happened, if you would have drifted off, <sighs> went into the woods, <laughs> <laughs> crashed. Because <laughs> people have been in like in vehicle accidents and pinned in their vehicles for two weeks. 